Hey loves, come with me on my little vacation to Ahmad Farms. If you haven't been here, this is the perfect way to see what the resort is all about and what's in it for you. If you have, then I'm sure this will bring back very fond memories. So, Amat Farms is located at a place called Kuje in Abuja, Nigeria. Kuje is on the outskirts of town. And I guess they did that or they chose this area because they need a lot of land. When I say the resort is big, it's really, really big. I'm going to be showing you everything from the rooms to the stables, the restaurants and the ponds, all of it. You see all the activities they offer because I tried my very best to participate in everything. Well, almost everything. So this is the single modern room with twin beds. Oh, and side notes, if you want to stay over at this resort, you have to book beforehand. Like you have to book a week or two before the day should be there. So they tried to give the rooms a village feel like um, with the attached roof and you know the ground is like um, mud ground, mud floor and I really love the whole vibe of it. So we immediately dropped our bags and went into tourist mode. Like we wanted to see everything, we wanted to sightsee, see the, the different areas, the animals. We just went around like a tour of the whole place. These are a very unique species of chicken. I think they're called silky and brahma and something like that. So this was another area close to the pool. It also had huts for guests that are staying over. I mean, I don't know why I didn't get this space. So that's been so awesome to stay close to the pool. But it was really pretty. This is a restaurant. This is one of the restaurants that are located um, inside the resort. Um, this is their big ass pool. Oh my god, when I tell you this pool is huge, trust me on that. You're going to see us swimming there pretty soon. But yeah, we're still doing a tour of the area here. We're still trying to see how large the um, resort was. And <laughs> you can tell from the video now. See how big it is. We haven't even gone around yet. And another thing I really enjoyed while we we're going around while you're work, walking around you'd actually see different animals you'd see dogs you'd see cats you'd see peacocks you'd see like different animals are just walking um in the vicinity it gives you this kind of feeling like ah i'm in the jungle with, <laughs> with animals you know it gives you a very resorty wildlife kind of um vibe which was very interesting like you'd still see there are dogs really different um species of dogs uh, i don't know i saw them even looked like swans but yeah it was so cool and this is like their golf course they had a very big golf course so this is their volleyball court and i love volleyball i should have played towards the end but something happened you'd see towards the end but this is a playground for kids you guys since i was a kid i have not seen in fact i haven't seen a horse since i was like six years old so seeing this oh my god horses are such majestic creatures they're so big so beautiful me and my friend were running away at first but but then i got the courage see the child was petting the horse and i couldn't even go near it shame on me but <laughs> but i end up doing i ended up doing it so horses are so good they're so well taken care of they're very healthy i mean just incredible this one looks sad like why will no one touch me Yes, 
it's so fun. I thought it again. No? finally mm -hmm. passed one of the horses this one was the gentlest horse so calm I'm more like uh, i'm going to own a ranch in the future you can't tell me anything <laughs> so i don't know what this place is called with me i just titled it the shrine because it kind of had that vibe um, it was very picturesque. I had to take a picture. Do it now. So they actually sent someone to our rooms to tell us that it was time for the bonfire um, event or activity so we <laughs> were supposed to walk there but um, the place was fire, I had to beg Keke to carry us but it was a fun activity as you're going to see pretty soon we really enjoyed ourselves they made us drink in fact we, oh, as we were leaving there we were buzzed because there were a lot of drinking games so I would say the bonfire was one of the nicest or the most fun activities in the resort. <laughs> so this was a dare that was given to this guy because he failed the previous round. So they asked him to go there and he said there and they told him to dance on the pole. Oh my, the guy took it seriously. I was just shouting magic mic <laughs> because he was giving that vibe. It was so fun. So this was day two. Um, we wanted to get breakfast and then start our days of activities. We got dressed um, looking all pink. Trust your girl now. And we decided to get breakfast at this place. It's called the Lubui. Um, well, the food we got for dinner, we, um, lunch the previous day was not even good. So it's not even as good as it looks. The Singapore noodles wasn't nice. It was kind of tasteless. Too much curry. The pepper soup was... <laughs> Guy, let me not complain too much, but you know, we're not there for the food now, we're there for the activity. Just wanted to show you the previous day and then this morning, the food. We decided to get noodles because, like, who can fuck up noodles? And they still spoiled it, like, it was so soggy. The flies that were around, I think it's because it, the place was close to the stables, so the flies were just oh, oh my god, the flies were too many. I couldn't even eat my own. I had to order chips and um, sauce, the pink sauce. Uh, guys, so apparently you have to sign an NDA or something, so a disclaimer to ride the horse and also for the quad bike. It was scary, Chapo. Mm, we're ready. We're very, very ready for everything. So while we were signing and everything, they had already gone to the stables to saddle our horses. Um, these are our horses. See, the previous one I was saying is so beautiful. The African Queen, if you had noticed the name, that was the one they brought from my friend. The horse is so gentle. That's this one on the left. Such a gentle horse. And then this one is mine. <laughs> <laughs> the horses were very healthy like you can tell they're very well taken care of and very well trained as well they were so calm throughout the whole um they were sa being saddled while we we're getting on them like mounting them they were very gentle very calm so i was 
I was kind of scared. Don't let me not even lie. I was scared. <laughs> Horses are such they're very very overwhelming when you're close to them. But after a little while, you get comfortable. I got comfortable very quickly because my my horse was gentle and they were teaching you they'll teach you how to hold the reins how to tilt the horse to the left and right how to slow it down how to bring it to a stop how to make it go fast all of it they'll teach you before you go on the ride so we're pretty comfortable see us now cowgirls <laughs> You know, this is my first time trying the quad bike ride, and I have to say, at first it was scary. Me, I'm a scared of cat too, so at first it was kind of scary. But then I was like, you know what? Let me just do this. How hard can it possibly be? And then I started. I was so fun. It was really, really um, like an exhilarating ride, an exhilarating experience, <laughs> all in all. <laughs> Next, we got into our bikinis and headed for the Cool. Uh, this whole this whole thing in fact just watch just watch <laughs> so you understand Okay, so what happened was we went close to the pool and we realized the pool was so deep. <laughs> we immediately got scared. And then they told us it was 14 feet. They had to give us life jacket. So meanwhile, while they gave us the life jacket, we just got in the pool for a little while. Then we decided to go kayaking before like we balance and enjoy the pool, you know. So we decided to try the kayak out and, you know, get the hang of it. So our guide or is he lifeguard told us that he wants to show us how it's done and see how he was doing it, it was so easy like smooth paddle right to go left paddle left to go right Abby that's what he told us but if you see the calamity we're doing guys just just watch hey what might be this part guys please let me know in the comments section at the end of this video you've seen all the activities you've seen everything please let me know in the comments section whether you think this this um resort is worth fifty six thousand naira per night just let me know if it's worth it and it doesn't come with any daily breakfast it doesn't come with any of that the only thing it comes with is the bonfire and the pool finish so just let me know Left. Left. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Let me just tell you, if you're going to do this thing, and you're not a very athletic, very active right, 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 gym right, rat, right. just prepare for like body pains the next day. Cause we were crying, my back, my waist was on fire. My friend, her thighs, everywhere was just paining us. So it's a really that's why some people take it as a sport because it's a really really tedious exercise. It's a really tedious activity. We were rowing and rowing. Even when we got tired, the guy refused to allow us to stop. He was like, no, I want you to get it. I want you to get it right. Meanwhile, everything he was telling us, turn right, to go left. He was just, we we're just crashing. Like, it was not doing, giving what it was supposed to give. It was not doing what it was supposed to do. But, I mean, <laughs> I can't even say we looked good because we looked frustrated. We looked confused. Like, most of the <laughs> most of the video we're just confused and tired at a point we're like oh well, let's just be rowing backwards and see if we'll reach the shore because his directives were not working for us Look. 
left. Don't worry. If you go left now, then I will now tell you to focus. Right, right, right. No, right, continue. Yes, yeah, left now. Left now, left. Left, left, no, left, 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 left. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's see. Not that far. Yeah, right. Right, right. It will take you left. Right. Yeah, you are doing it. Right, 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 right. But at this point we're like let's just roll backwards maybe to magically take okay. us back to that place because we're trying to go left and it was, we're yeah. just doing 360 left, going round and round yeah. everybody we're all tired anyway we got there sha it only took us like five hours but we <laughs> i'm exaggerating but it took us a while this thing is not easy just if you're not a professional this thing is very difficult to control or maybe the guy is not good at teaching i don't even know but it was hard it was not fun let me just let me, <laughs> let me just be honest with you if you're not someone that likes exercising or that likes working out or likes those type of activities just don't do it because you will be tired and there's no way for you to come out and swim to, <laughs> to the shore so because the water is not that clean so just prepare yourself right Don't worry, don't worry, I'll, I'll come. Don't worry. don't worry, don't worry. Left, 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 fully. Right See, on. the sun was already going down, and we're still trying to get to the shore. The guy was not even helping matters. People had gathered. Let me tell you, the people that were going on tours, all of them stopped and were watching us. <laughs> like, it was so funny, and ah. I beg, it was not even funny then, but it's funny now. I was tired. We're no. both tired. Like, Oga, oh, just come and up. catch us and drag us to the shore. Let's come down from Left. this thing, please. Left. But he was Left. saying, no, Left. turn right, go round, do this. Ah! On top of like, we're too, we're too tired. But at last, shall we go to the shore? Don't worry. I'll catch you. So this fish entered our boat while we were a bit kayak while we were struggling for our lives and we named him Minimo. Don't know your petting it is dying. It's dying. It's not dying, it's not dying. It's dying. Yes. See, we actually thought this guy was make, taking pictures of us, so we didn't know he was making a video. So we're giving different poses, different poses. <laughs> actually, he was doing video. 
well, it came on fine, Sha. So we came back to the pool and, you know, had refreshments. It was really nice like the pool i'm not a water person but i enjoyed this i'm so scared of water so scared of i don't know how to swim but i enjoyed the pool if you're if you're someone that loves swimming you're going to really enjoy the pool because it's so deep like you can dive deep in it you can swim from end to end it's really big so you enjoy swimming from end to end it's just it was just like very fun go please eh? <laughs> see if you want to laugh just watch this because we're both i'm not that good but my friend is the worst see the worst table tennis player i've ever seen <laughs> and it's because we're very unathletic i mean i try a little but my friend ah uh, forget it so this is just straight five minutes of fun and very funny <laughs> very funny content so if you if you want to you can if you don't want to you can just skip forward to the next part You know how they say peacocks are very vain, like they like their own re reflections or some people are peacocking, like trying to show themselves or trying to, you know, be flashy and stuff. I didn't know, I didn't like, I just found out today that all of that was, is actually true. See that the way those arrows are, that's a peacock. It's standing in front of a door, like the door is reflective. So it's looking at its own reflection do you know i sped this thing up this is this video is sped up so it stood there looking at its reflection without moving it was looking at its reflection for more than five minutes guy like <laughs> i've never seen something so vain and like superficial like 
the peacocks stood there oh, all through while we were doing this thing before it now moved on and i'm sure it's moving on to the next mirror So this was our last day at the resort. We're checking out. Oh my god, it was so bittersweet because I was excited to leave there and go and eat good food. Guy, let me give you let me give you a small expo. If you're coming here, try and carry food. Yeah. Don't tell them or don't let them find out. But try and carry even if it's snacks, chickens, because the place is very far from anywhere that has like or anywhere there's a shop or store that you can buy stuff so just buy something that you'll be munching on because the place is far and then these restaurants their food is not that awesome so mm -mm. but anyway that was the reason i was happy to go but then i was sad because uh, i was leaving and then this is a cute puppy i met her name is um what's up elsa elsa so cute it's like a dachon and lassa abso mix so 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 cute but anyway yeah we're leaving i took pictures of some sculptures that were at the entrance it was so nice so cute so picturesque anyway guys if you've enjoyed this please subscribe like and share bye Mwah.